everyone welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you how to make this hooded poncho for children up to six years so one uh, one to six years a bigger size is five to six and we have a little string that uh, we can pull the hood tighter it is not very long this is the stitch I don't even know the name of it it's like a shell and then the next row that we make is a front post, double crochet, and then double crochet, so kind of a shell on a shell. Okay, so it's quite easy to make. It is a two row repeat. The stitch is really soft and it is quite warm. Okay, so like that. It is a triangle and then we have the hood with a little bit of the edging around and we can use those strings to pull it together okay so this one is the size uh, one to two years this is the smallest one and I have used just a couple of colors to finish it off I made it really uh, the colors are really autumn like uh, the next one that I have right here is uh, slightly bigger this one is two to three years and I made it really colorful uh, I just used the leftovers that I had and I made uh, three rows uh, or actually technically it's six rows of each color and then I finished with whatever I had left so you see all of these colors and then just little strings that work exactly the same okay and then the biggest size I have one more Okay, so this is a size five to six years. So everything exactly the same, only bigger. It doesn't need a whole lot of yarn. Now I have used up about 200 grams for the biggest size. Now just have in mind that uh, because you will probably be using different yarn than me, you might need a, a little bit more. It really depends on the yarn. You might need a little less, a little bit more. Okay. Other than that, it is exactly the same, and I have I have just finished. So this is the actual one that I'm making in this tutorial. Okay, make it in pink, and I have little fluffies at the bottom. Now, if you don't want the string, so what you can do is leave the strings out, and then do the edging and just sew it on like this. It will still look nice. Uh, and you will not have the string so you can just sew this part onto the actual uh, poncho right here so uh, I would like to ask you if you have the time please leave me uh, feedback in the comments it's always nice to read them and to know what are my mistakes are and what I should change uh, some of the feedback actually helps me to um, uh, choose patterns or stitches that I want to make I, I just make something and then I see if people found it uh, difficult or easy the stitch so I can use it in the future or I should stay away from it so anyway thank you very much for the feedback and now if you got interested in making one of these ponchos let's go and see of what we're going to need for this project okay so to make this poncho we're going to need a measuring tape in centimeters because I have my size chart in centimeters so it will be much easier uh, if you have a measuring tape like this, so you don't have to convert it. If your measuring ma uh, tape has inches on it, you can just convert on Google uh, or wherever into inches. Okay, next we're going to need four stitch markers, a needle. We're going to need something for the ends of the strings if you are going to make them. Okay, I have these little folks fur balls that are going to go on the end of the strings then you're going to need a hook so you need a hook that matches your yarn or is a little bit bigger so this is lightweight number three yarn which i will usually use a four millimeter hook uh, i will use a 4.5 millimeter this time i just want it to be a little bit extra uh, soft so i'm using slightly bigger okay and yarn like i said it is a lightweight number three yarn. This one is 100% acrylic. It's a mega ball. Now, I will not use all of this. I only need a, approximately 
just under 200 grams okay so the biggest size that I made the five to six years uh, I did need 200 grams uh, but that is not counting the uh, pom-poms okay so uh, with pom-poms it came out a little bit over 200 grams now you don't have to use the same yarn use whatever you have even if it's a little bit thicker or thinner it doesn't really matter because we're using the measurements okay so you will just um, look at the measurements even if your yarn is a little bit different in weight than mine okay so once uh, you have everything ready decide what size you're going to make and let's get started okay so grab your hook grab your yarn and let us have a look at the starting chain or the starting loop chain okay so we need to to have our starting chain or the foundation to be long enough to go over the head so approximate head circumference so one to two years is approximately 46 centimeters two to three years 48 three to five years so three to four four five five six years is approximately 51 centimeter if you have the child with you you can just uh, measure the um, widest part uh, of the head just put your measuring tape around and see how many centimeters it is now the starting chain has to be long enough to go over the head not not too wide but it has to be comfortable to go over the child's head okay so I will be making a size three to four years so I'm looking for 51 centimeters or a little bit more and it's very easy to start you make a slip knot then you're going to chain three one two and three and you're gonna make a double crochet back into that very first chain so the very bottom one and this is one loop now again chain three one two and three yarn over and make a double crochet into that third chain so one two three the very bottom one and double crochet so we have two loops one two three yarn over into the very bottom chain double crochet and we want to keep making this until our chain is long enough to go over the child's head so keep going I am looking for approximately 51 centimeters in length okay so I made a few loops and I'm gonna start measuring okay so when you measure you want to put it right at the hook and then see if this actually gets you know with a little pull if it comfortably gets to the measurement that you need okay so I need 51 but I can actually stretch it out to 56 if I need okay so just make sure that it's not too tight at the measurement okay if it's too tight add another loop okay so this is this will go easily over the child's head I'm happy with the loops now the next thing is we want to count how many loops we have we need an even number so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21 22 so I do have an even number of loops which is fantastic I can just connect and uh, start the next row now if you have an odd number of loops I would suggest you either add an extra loop to make it a little bit bigger or if you thought that it was a little um, too big you can just take one out as long as it is an even number uh, you're going to be fine okay so once you have your loops you want to make sure that your uh, chain is not twisted and you want to find that very first one okay like I said make sure it's not twisted and you want to slip stitch into the very very first chain right where the tail is in and slip stitch now once you slip stitch you can again you can uh, try to measure 
just to make sure that it is actually big enough so you would at this point you would uh, divide your head circumference into two so 51 centimeters would be approximately 25 and a half and you want to see if it actually goes past that measurement so I can get to 27 if I really pull hard so it is fine this is going to fit perfectly okay so the next step is to find two loops get two stitch markers and we want to find two loops opposite each other okay so I want to, to leave uh, the place where I will be uh, connecting I want to leave it on the side here so it is on top of a shoulder so I'm gonna put this one into this loop and then one at the bottom and now I'm going to make sure that I have the same number of loops in between okay so I'm not gonna count the one with a stitch marker one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and the other one <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so they are perfectly opposite each other okay so you you should have the same number of uh, uh, loops on both sides okay now next step is we are going to start our first row so to start that you want to slip stitch into the next loop and chain three so the repeat row number one will always start with chaining three one two and three now we're gonna make two more double crochets into that same loop one double crochet and second double crochet like this okay now in the next loop we make two double crochets we chain one and we make two double crochets and all the other loops are exactly the same two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets and just like that keep going all the way around and I'm going to see you at the second loop now at this point we are not going to start uh, increasing where the stitch markers are so just move them out of the way if you need to but uh, make sure that you keep it in that uh, same loop we're gonna need this when we're doing the hood okay so just go past them but keep them in those loops right keep going I'll see you at the end now once you go all the way around and you come back to that loop where we have started if you look closely we did three chains and then two double crochets okay so the first two chains are uh, instead of a double crochet and then the chain one so we technically have this okay we still are need uh, need to do one double crochet so we yarn over we go into that same loop and we make another double crochet before that chain three to finish like this okay and then you slip stitch under the chains and you end up with the same two double crochets chain one two double crochets okay now to start the next row you are going to chain two one and two and you're going to turn now you're gonna find that very last double crochet out of the four so this one you're gonna make a front post double crochet around it like that now when you look at your next shell you want to make a front post double crochet around the first double crochet then double crochet 
chain one double crochet in the chain one space and a front post double crochet around the last double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, front post double crochet around the first one, then into the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet back into that chain one space. And you finish this shell with a front post double crochet around the last one. Then again, the next one is exactly the same. Front post double crochet, double crochet chain one, double crochet into the chain one space and finish with a front post double crochet. Yarn over, front post, then into the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and finish with a front post double crochet around the last one. And I'm gonna show you one more time. Front post double crochet around the first double crochet, into the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and a front post double crochet around the last one from this shell. Okay, and just like that, you keep going all the way around and I'll meet you when we finish right here. Okay, so when you're finishing this row and you're coming back to the place where you have started, so we made a chain two and a front post double crochet, we need to finish this very last um, shell. So you're gonna yarn over, <clears throat> make a front post double crochet, then you're going to make a double crochet into that chain one, then you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the chain two. So this is the chain two, slip stitch into that. Okay, and then you have finished this shell. Now again, to start the next row, you're going to chain three. This counts as a double crochet and a chain one. You're going to turn and you will be making two more double crochets into that chain one space right after it. So one and two. Okay, and then once we finish this row, we're gonna finish it with one more double crochet so it is a full shell. Now, you continue on making two double crochets and chain one and two more double crochets into each chain one space. Okay, then you find the next one, which is right here. Two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. You keep making them until you get to the shells that have the stitch marker. Okay, so you want to actually put the stitch marker, you leave these ones, put the stitch marker into the chain one space, where you're crocheting, okay? So we need these ones for the hood. We're gonna put these for increasing and making it into an actual poncho. So for now, keep going until you get to the stitch marker. So once you get to your stitch marker, this is where our increase is going to be. So to do the increase, I'm gonna take the stitch marker out into that chain one space make a double crochet and chain one. Double crochet, chain one. Third double crochet, chain one, and one more. Four 
double crochets. Okay, so you have four double crochets with a chain one in between them. So you don't make a chain one after the last one. Then you're going to grab your stitch marker and put it into the chain one space right in the middle. So you split it into double crochet, chain one double crochet, stitch marker and double crochet, chain one double crochet on the other side of the stitch marker. Okay? And then you keep going as normal with two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets until you get to the next stitch marker. So these four double crochets that we have just made, these are just into the chain spaces where the stitch markers are. Okay, so we make that point right here and right here. So keep going and I'll see you right here. So at the other stitch marker, again, I'm going to take this out and I will make a double crochet chain one, second double crochet, chain one, third double crochet, chain one, and fourth double crochet. I'm going to put the stitch marker in right in the middle chain one space. And then I will continue as normal until I get to the point where I have started. Okay, and then we finish this row with a double crochet into that chain one space. Remember, we need to finish this uh, shell. So right under it, into that chain one, I'll make a double crochet and I'll slip stitch into the space right here. Just like that. Then to start repeat row number two, you're going to chain two and turn. Start with a front post double crochet around the last double crochet here. So again, we only finished a half of this shell. We need to finish this when we come back all the way around. And continue with a front post double crochet. double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and front post double crochet. So these are the normal shells that are always going to be the same in between the stitch markers. Okay, so this is just our pattern that we need to, to repeat. And then we're going to do something different at the repeat row number two where the stitch markers are. We still need to do more increasing, okay? So do as usual and I will see you right here. Okay, so once you get to that shell with a stitch marker, this is what you are going to do. We're going to turn this into a full shell like we have just made. So what you do is you make a front post double crochet around the first double crochet. Then into that chain one space rise right after it you make a double crochet chain one double crochet back into that chain one space and then finish with a front post double crochet around the second double crochet okay so we have a full shell just like here okay after the first one that you make, you're going to chain one and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side of the stitch marker. So a front post double crochet into the chain one space, double crochet, chain one and double crochet and you finish with a front post double crochet around the last double crochet. So you can see it looks pretty much the same as right here, it's just a little bit tight together at the moment. Now you're going to take the stitch marker out and you're going to place it into the chain one space right in between the two, so right here. So we have full shell on one side and the full shell on the other side. And then continue as normal until the next stitch marker.
just like that okay so like that all the way around I'll see you right here and we'll do the corners together again or the increase okay so the other increase in repeat row number two so exactly the same you do a front post double crochet around the first double crochet into that chain one space double crochet chain one double crochet Finish with a front post double crochet around the second one. Chain one and the same thing around the next two double crochets. Front post into the chain one space double crochet, chain one, double crochet, excuse me, and a front post double crochet crochet and then you want to move your stitch marker into that chain one space right in between the shells like that and then just continue as normal to the shell where you have started again when you come to finish repeat row number two you finish with the front post double crochet, a double crochet into the chain one space, chain one, and you slip stitch into the chain two on the other side, right here. So it is important that you remember how to start and uh, finish the rows, okay? So it will be unnoticeable. We always want to start and finish in the middle of the shell. Again, I'm going to quickly go uh, through the next two rows just to remind you what to do right here because it will be increasing. You will be able to see much more of a point in the next uh, few rows right here. You start repeat row number one with chaining three. One, two, and three, and turn. You make two more double crochets into that chain one space. and then continue with the normal shells into each chain one space until you get to the stitch marker now you have to be careful here now remember the increase that we did so this is your last chain one space before the stitch marker so don't forget to make that one okay so into each chain one space just a normal chain uh, uh, shell of the two double crochets chain one two double crochets okay so that was the last chain one space now where the stitch marker is right in between the shells so right here you make double crochet chain one double crochet chain one that is two double crochets double crochet chain one and double crochet so that is the four double crochets with a chain one in between them put your stitch marker into the middle chain one so just like that and then continue as normal with a normal uh, shell into each chain one space and do the same thing on the other stitch marker I'm gonna see you at the finishing point so finishing repeat row number one into that chain one space we make a double crochet and slip stitch under the chain three chain two to start repeat row number two and turn front post double crochet around the last double crochet and continue on with the shells with your front post double crochets until you get to your stitch marker so just reminding the increase on repeat row number two start with a front post double crochet double crochet into the first chain one space Oops. chain one and double crochet back into that same chain one space 
and finish with a front post double crochet. Chain 1, skip that chain 1 space, go straight around the next double crochet with a front post double crochet, chain 1, oh sorry, you don't chain 1 after the front post, sorry, right into that chain 1 space, double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, and finish with a front post double crochet crochet. So just like that, then move your stitch marker into that chain one space in between the shells. Continue as normal and do the same thing in this stitch marker and I will see you where we are connecting. Okay, and then you finish repeat row number two with a front post, double crochet into that chain one space, chain one and slip stitch into the chain two. Then chain three turn and start your repeat row number one. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. You can see it's starting to take shape. This point is going to get sharper and sharper as you go. So the next thing is to make the length. Now, I have my length written down here. So this is approximate. It can be a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. Uh, but I do prefer this one <clears throat> because, as you can see, it is exactly the same length as the hood is going to be. So it kind of balances itself out. Okay, but you can change it up if you want a little bit. So, I'm making a size 3 to 4 years, so my length should be 28 centimeters, approximately. Now, I'm not going to measure this right here. I'm going to measure this part, because this is going to be longer. So, when I'm measuring for length, I can, here I have, I'm going to measure right here. Okay, so I'm at 8 centimeters. I need 20 more so I need this to be at about 28 so approximately like that okay so a little bit shorter a little bit longer approximately there somewhere now the thing is we want the last two rows so for fi finishing up so right here okay so this one right here so you can see the very last two rows are a little bit different we don't do any more uh, increasing so it actually uh, takes the sharp corner out and if it's actually twisting at the point uh, or kind of turning at the point where we are doing the increases the last two rows uh, actually um, fix that issue okay so you want to keep going and I will see you when you have about three centimeters left to finish uh, the length okay so then we're gonna do repeat row number one and repeat row number two slightly different the last two so for now keep going and I will see you when we are approximately three centimeters away from the full length so at this point I am approximately well two rows uh, away from finishing uh, and I am approximately at 24 and a half almost 25 centimeters so when I finish it will be about 20 this is what I need okay so the last two rows now all of the sides are exactly the same it's only slightly different in the very tip okay so start your repeat row number one as normal and when you get to the tip or where your stitch marker is right here instead of doing the increase we're going to make a normal shell in here so we're gonna make two double crochets we're going to chain one and make two more double crochets in there just like that Okay, I'm still going to uh, put the stitch marker in and then just continue as normal and do exactly the same on the other tip. 
so we're technically increasing just a little bit uh, so remember we had the chain one spaces in between the double crochets we do not have it this time it's just normal shell so keep going I'll see you at the tip in the next round and so the very last row and this is what we are going to do at the tip we don't need the stitch markers anymore we are just making our normal shell front pose double crochet into the uh, chain space double crochet chain one double crochet and we finish it with a front post double crochet just like that so this is going to be our tip now so it's much more <clears throat> round rather than um, spiky and then continue as normal finish this row and we are finished with the main part of the poncho so do exactly the same thing on the other side so we are going to meet up after we finish this row once you finish it uh, chain one cut off your yarn and we are going to start on the hood okay so I have finished uh, the poncho itself I chained one and cut my yarn and it measures approximately 27 centimeters I'm a little bit shorter uh, but it is absolutely fine so like I said the measurements are approximate okay so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to start the hood now the thing is first of all because you can see we have this v-neck right here we need to try and make it a little bit straighter on one side so this is going to be the side that is at the back of the hood so grab the two stitch markers that you still have okay find the one that we have left where we have started and count three loops to the top to the right from it so one two and three put the stitch marker in there and the same to the other side one two and three into the third one okay so like this grab your yarn and your hooks now make sure that you have the right side of the poncho facing you okay unless you like the other one then you have to do everything the opposite so make a slip knot we are going to join in the loop that is right under the stitch marker okay so we have the stitch marker up here we join into the loop below it we are going to chain okay so we join in and we chain one okay now we're going to turn we're going to make our first row from the inside of the poncho okay so this is the wrong side this is the inside of it now we're gonna yarn over go into the next loop and make a normal um, shell so two double crochets one two chain one and two more double crochets the same into the next one this was a very very middle I'm gonna take this out two double crochets chain one two double crochets one two chain one two more double crochets and one more into the next one so we should we, we will have three um, shells two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets so as you can see we have three shells now we're going to slip stitch into the next loop so just slip stitch here now we're going to slip uh, uh, chain two one two and we are going to slip stitch into the next loop with the stitch marker 
like this. Now we're going to turn our work. Now we're facing the good side again. And we're going to start, so without any kind of chaining or anything, you're going to find that um, uh, shell here. And you're going to go around the first double crochet and make a front pose double crochet. Into the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and you finish with the front post double crochet. Then the next one, front post, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and front post. And one more, the very last one, front post, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and front post. And now we want to slip stitch into the loop with the stitch marker. Like this, we're going to chain one and cut off our yarn. let's have a look what we have made right here so leave the stitch markers in for now we are still going to need it okay so as you can see we have we took out that big dip so it will be easier for us when we're doing the hood now we are going to turn around our poncho and we are going to start the hood itself okay so make a slip knot now you want to start so we are going to start so this is the very middle one okay we want to start in the third from the middle into the third loop okay so this is the middle one one two and three so put your hook in catch your yarn and you're going to chain two one I got the tail one and two now we're gonna turn and we will start from the inside okay right into the next loop we start making our normal uh, shells so two double crochets chain one two double crochets into the next one two double crochets chain one two double crochets into the next loop same into the next one and just like that until you get to the stitch marker I only have one more loop before that okay okay so here I am with the stitch marker so what we're going to do here is we're gonna make start making a double crochet and we're going to stop we want to crochet this together okay so we're gonna stop at halfway then we're gonna go into the next chain one space and make a double crochet there and we're now gonna close it in together okay I'll show you again where the stitch marker is we make halfway double crochet okay we don't finish it we still have two loops on the hook now we're gonna start a double crochet into the chain one space into the next one go pull through two loops and yarn over pull through all three loops that are left okay so this double crochet right here is just filling the space so we don't have a big hole 
and then you're gonna make a second double crochet chain one and two more double crochets like that okay so this is half uh, double crochet halfway or crochet crocheted with the next one right here just so that there is no hole and then continue as normal into the chain one space this is the these are the shells that we have added at the back and one more and then when you're doing the last double crochet of the la uh, in the last chain one space before the stitch marker we're gonna crochet this double crochet and this double crochet together again so just so we don't have a hole so we're gonna yarn over start your double crochet and you're gonna stop then you're gonna yarn over go into the uh, loop with a stitch marker pull it out you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through all the loops that you had okay so just like that and then after that you're gonna go straight into the next loop and continue with the shells now you want to finish let me see so we want to finish in the same loop as we have started what I mean is the same on the other side if you have a stitch marker so in the in this one okay so this is going to be your last shell and right here you're gonna have a double crochet that is going to uh, finish your hood so you're gonna have one two three loops without anything in the middle okay so keep going until you get to this last loop and you finish this row with a double crochet just a double crochet in here okay so you have three loops in the front there okay so to start the next row you are going to chain two one and two okay turn if you have to I have already turned and you just need to start your front post double crochets double crochet chain one double crochet and a front post double crochet and this is all the wrist to this row the only thing that I will come back to you is when we hit that shell where we did the two double crochets together so right here just in case if that is confusing for you okay okay so here we are so I'm gonna skip that double crochet it's just filling up the little space and I'm gonna go around the first and make a front post double crochet and continue on as normal so finish this row again do the same thing on the other side so just right here this double crochet just leave it alone just do the normal um, shell and then the next shell just completely skip over that so keep going I will see you after we finish the last shell okay so you want to finish when you do the last shell you want to finish with a double crochet into the top of that chain two from the previous row so right here at the edge double crochet chain two we're gonna start the next row in a minute first of all we want to see if we actually need to do a little bit of increasing if our uh, hood is wide enough or not so you want to place it nice and straight both fronts together like this okay <clears throat> get your uh, measuring tape and measure from front to back so I am at approximately 20 centimeters here now if I look at my chart so hood width for three to four years is supposed to be about 23 centimeters so I'm a little bit short so in this in this next row I'm going to do an increase at the back right here exactly the same way I have done right here 
you need to find the very very middle um, shell so this is the one okay you should have at this point you should have one that is in the very very middle of the back okay and so once you chain two you're gonna start the normal shells and get to that stitch marker now if you are uh, okay with the width you don't need to do the increase okay you can just keep going with making those two rows without any increasing all the way up now I need a little bit of an increase so I'm just gonna get myself to that stitch marker and it actually is going to increase quite a lot now if you're not sure if you should do the increase or not let's say you're just a tiny little bit short what you can do is when we are making the border around the hood give me a second there so when you're doing this part okay so we're gonna make it and then we're gonna sew it on you can always make it longer okay you can have more chains or stitches than I do I'm gonna my, my one is going to be about this wide and then I'm gonna um, roll it around the string okay so it's gonna be about this long if you're missing a little bit of length you can make your one a little bit longer now we'll talk about it and this will add a little bit more length now this part I do not count it as the width of the hood I just count it as it's going to be on and it's gonna take us to where it has to be this right here is the hood without the border okay so keep going I will see you right here okay so at the stitch marker so this is my very very middle shell double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one oops and double crochet and then finish the row as normal finish with a double crochet in the top of the chain two then chain two and start the next row and I will see you right here where the increase is okay so my increase right here front post double crochet chain one double crochet and front post I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna make a shell around the next one as well so front post double crochet chain one double crochet and front post now just in case I need another increase I'm going to place my stitch marker right in between the two okay so I still have I know where my uh, exact middle point is on the hood then just finish the pattern as normal finish with a double crochet into the chain two I'm going to chain two to start the next row and I'm just going to give it another measure so uh, approximately 23 centimeters in width now it usually takes a little while for those stitches to uh, fully expand once you do an increase okay so I'm just going to follow the shape of the hood okay when I measure I'm gonna measure from here and I am at 21 okay so I need another increase so I need a little bit more if you don't need it you just <clears throat> follow the pattern without any increasing so I'm still gonna do an increase in here so start the next row if you need an increase I'm gonna meet you at the back right here okay so I'm here to do another increase now remember where your stitch marker is it's right in between the two shells so into that space exactly where my stitch marker is I'm gonna make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet 
I'm gonna put my stitch marker into that chain one space so I know that this is an increase so I don't skip over that and then I'll continue with normal shells into each chain one space finish this row start the next one and I'll see you at the place of an increase at the back right here so here at my increase front post double crochet into that chain one space chain one double crochet into that same chain one space and front post double crochet now I'm gonna move the stitch marker just in case I need another increase then I could do I could do it just like the first one that we have done right here into this stitch okay and then continue as normal to the end of the row okay so I'm gonna do a little bit of measuring again it really should be enough for me at this point so I am at approximately 23 centimeters so we'll do it about about 23 this is perfect so I don't need to do another increase so I'll just take that out these are just going to be the two rows with no more increasing all the way until I get to the height of the hood now if you do need like I said if you do need another increase do it right here as we have done the first time around but give it a few rows if you uh, if you're not too close to connecting at the top at the height give it a few rows it does take those increases a few rows to fully expand to the full length okay so at this point I'm just good to go just uh, two rows starting with chaining two one row chain two the other row all the way up now we want our hood to be approximately this height right here so three to four years approximately 28 centimeters in height or length whichever way you look at it now you want to measure from where your loops were so right from here not in the back but in the middle just where the shoulder would be so from here up I am at 8 centimeters I need another 20 so I'm gonna repeat those two rows until I get to my 28 centimeters in height so I am just about to finish my hood if I measure it measures at about 28 centimeters 27 and a half 28 centimeters okay so I'm really close I need uh, 28 for the total length now I want to finish uh, with a uh, row with uh, front post double crochets and we are going to do something slightly different for the very last row it's just gonna be, look a little nicer if you finish uh, with the front post row so even if you're gonna go over the measurement uh, I would suggest that you do this row okay so it's very very similar we just want that top edge to be a bit more straight so we start with chaining two and we turn so we're gonna do a front post double crochet as normal and then in the chain one space we're gonna make two single crochets and then we finish with a front post double crochet and then again front post and two single crochets into the chain one space and finish with a front post okay and you can see how straight that is it will be easier to slip stitch or to sew it up so keep going like this all the way to the end of this row okay and I have finished with a double crochet now if you want to sew this up you can just give yourself enough tail cut it off and just sew, sew them like this now if you want to slip stitch like me you want to turn it inside out so you want the outside uh, to be on the top right now and 
I'm just going to pull this like this. I'm going to chain one and I will just slip stitch each stitch on each side. So in one stitch and in the other side. Try not to skip any of them. And just like that, all the way to the end right here. Okay, so I have finished. I'm going to chain one and cut my end. I'm going to leave a small tail so it's easier to hide. I'm going to pull this through. Now make sure that you like what you see. So that looks great, I think. And here we are. We have the hood and the poncho itself. Now, the only thing that we have left is we need to do the edge. It's going to take a little while, but don't worry. Okay, but before we start the edge, we need to make the little string if you are going to make it. Okay, so grab your yarn and start chaining. Now, chain enough to go around the hood and maybe a little bit extra so uh, you kind of have a little bit of length right here okay so just normal chains it doesn't matter how many just chain a long string so I have my chain, I think maybe it is a little bit too long, but don't worry, if it is too long, you will be able to uh, uh, make it shorter after. So if I look at the, around the edge and a little bit extra. Okay, that should be fine. So the next step is to make slip stitches. Now you can either make the slip stitches into the back loop right here, then your cord is going to be a bit more round or you can just make one slip stitch into each chain. I'm going to do it this way because it's faster. Just one slip stitch into each chain all the way to the end of the little cord. I have finished my string. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm not gonna not going to pull it through. I'm just gonna leave it like this, just in case I need to uh, make it a little shorter. Okay, so that is done. Okay, next thing is we have to make single crochets all the way around the hood. We're going to make a slip knot. Now you can choose where you want to start. Now, I prefer to start. So this is the very middle one in in the middle. Okay, I'm going to start right behind it. So that my edging is all the way down to the bottom, okay? So the hood actually starts there, but I want it all the way to here. So I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to start making single crochets around the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna make two single crochets into the loop, and then one in between the loops two into the loop. Now once you don't have any more loops left you're just going to have to make single crochets. Try not to make them too often or um, too far away from each other. Just see what feels natural. Okay so it's not pulling it together or neither uh, too many that it makes a little bend here. So I'm probably making about, okay, so let's see, these are the two rows. So I'll make one, two, so I make about three single crochets in the side of two rows. I might have another one right here 
or maybe I'll just pass it this time. Now the number of single crochets doesn't matter as long as it just looks nice and we have the foundation to do the ribbing or the edging around it after that. So just keep going like that all the way around and I'm going to finish just before the very middle stitch marker right here so it's the same on both sides. Okay, so before we start the ribbing, uh, just a few things to say. Like I said, you can make the ribbing a little bit longer. Okay, so I will be making this kind of ribbing. This is six single crochets. I'm going to chain seven, but I'm going to have six single crochets, and it is a little bit thinner. Okay, it's not that wide. Now, this one, for example, I needed a little bit of width to the extra width to the uh, hood so I made nine single crochets so I chained ten but I had nine single crochets and the same if you want it bigger you can just chain more and then keep the same number of single crochets all the way around so it doesn't even look that much different but it's this one is probably about a centimeter or maybe a centimeter and a half wider than this one okay but I uh, this time because I have well reached the width of the hood that I needed I am just going to do six okay so here we are okay so this is where I have finished now hopefully it will be it will not be too hard to see so as you can see I only have one loop left uh, in the very middle okay so to start the ribbing you are going to chain whatever number of chains like I said I'm going to do seven chains and I'm going to have six single crochets you can do more if you need it so chain one two three four five six and seven we're gonna skip the very last chain and into the second chain from the hook we're gonna start single crochets so one two three, four, five, and the last one is six. So whatever number of chains you have made, you're going to have one less single crochet than the chain. So I chained seven, but I have six single crochets. Now I'm going to keep it six all the way around until I get to the other side. Okay, so the next step is to slip stitch. So you want to skip the very first stitch and then two slip stitches. So one and two. Oops, sorry. Okay, so one slip stitch and second slip stitch. Okay, so these two are slip stitches and these are actual stitches. Now I'm going to turn and we're going to make single crochets into the back loop of these stitches so the back loop would be this one okay so you don't grab both of them like this you are just going to put your hook in through the further one okay so this one and this one that way we're gonna get that nice ribbing so now you want to skip those two slip stitches that you have just made and start with the next single crochet so I'm gonna put my yarn in front like this so I skip the two uh, slip stitches into the back loop of the next stitch and start single crochets. So one into the back loop, two into the back, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn again. You skip that chain one that you have just made and start into the back loop of the next stitch. One, oops, into the back loop. Two, three, four, five and six then again two slip stitches so you want you don't want to use the same uh, stitches that you have already used so make sure you look there 
so these are my next two slip stitch one and slip stitch two again I'm gonna turn again we want to skip those two slip stitches that we have just made so this is my very first stitch for the next row I'm gonna put my yarn in front okay so one two I skip those and I start with a back loop and I should have six single crochets again one two three four five and six chain one and turn skip that chain one start into the back loop of the next stitch one two three four five and six again the next two stitches are slip stitches slip stitch one and slip stitch two turn yarn in front skip the two slip stitches one and two into the back loop single crochet and just like that we need to get to the other side it will take a little while but it will look really pretty okay so just like that keep going now uh, once you make a few rows you can just have a look okay so this is how it looks at the moment now what we're going to do we're going to twist it like this we're gonna e either slip stitch it or sew it on to the bottom okay so our string is going to be in here like this so it's kind of tight enough but just enough space for the string to be moving if you're not happy with the length go back make more single crochets but I'm just gonna keep going just like that all the way until I run out of stitches right here so I have finished I went all the way around and now if you're planning to slip stitch the edge to there then it will be easier for you if you uh, connect at the bottom so I don't have any stitches left I'm just going to connect right in between the loops if you have stitches left just connect into the stitches okay just so that you're on the bottom I think that way is easier if you're planning to sew it on leave a really long tail now and you can pull uh, pull through the thread and just sew it on to the bottom like this okay now I'm going to slip stitch so we take our string and I would suggest you put something at the bottom something big so it doesn't pull out while you are doing it I couldn't find a smaller one this is the biggest one that I have and it will definitely not come out while I am slip stitching now you want to place it you want to place it underneath like this okay so and then turn it over like that now one thing that you want when you're connecting the edge to the bottom is you have to make sure that you don't catch the string uh, either with a hook or with a needle uh, otherwise you're gonna sew it on and it's not gonna move uh, so you won't be able to pull it tighter okay so let's see so I'm gonna go into the stitch here or into the very edge like this and I'm going to go into the single crochets that I have made in there and on the other side pull and pull again make sure that the string can move probably did it wrong I want it right in the middle here like that
and just like that I'm just gonna catch the edge and slip stitch on to the bottom again make sure that it moves that it's not caught anywhere even if you catch it a little bit you won't be able to move it anymore or if you're sewing you you just do the same thing like this and just like that keep going until until you finish it right here okay so I am all done I'm going to chain one now before I cut my yarn I'm going to make sure that the string is not uh, attached to the actual hood that it moves this is fantastic now I can cut it off and I am done I just have the details and the tails left okay let's have a quick look okay fantastic now I'm gonna do the pom-poms right here or the little um, fluffies that I have you can make pom-poms and attach them or something it definitely needs something at the bottom so it doesn't get pulled out if you have nothing uh, you can just make a little knot like this and leave it it will be much harder to get pulled out uh, if it has something thicker at the end now if the string uh, ended up being a bit too long it's not way too long for me but I will just show you uh, how to make it shorter so first of all you can pull out as much as you need let's say this would be perfect here okay so again I'm gonna make it I'm gonna pull that out and now this one so you kind of want to count three chains down so one two and three and cut at the bottom of the third chain and now be careful you can just pull and that is shorter okay so like I said the next thing is to take all of the stitch markers out and hide all the tails don't forget the tails that we have on the inside and when you're hiding the tails, especially around the neck right here, okay, you don't want to uh, make it tight where the starting loop chain was, okay? You don't want to make it tighter just in case the head can't go through it, okay? Because if I pull this, I can make the whole line tighter. So I, I will not, I will just hide it in between the stitches above and not in the actual um loops just like that that is and just like that I hide everything i'm gonna sew on my uh, pom-poms and then we'll see how it looks when it's all finished and so here we are i have finished my little poncho looks really really fun really quite soft well thank you very much for watching i hope that it was not too difficult and you have enjoyed it and i wish you all the best and i will see you in the next one bye